idea of practical life materials are a way to help each child become independent and in caring for themselves, caring for their person, caring for their environment, and caring for their relationships. In one sense, it's learning the skills of practical living, simple things like buttoning your own jacket, hanging something up. But on the other hand, the, the really important part of it is that the child is learning to be independent and caring for themselves. If you think of the child from, really, from two years onward, they, they are saying, help me do it myself. Remember, aim from the center. In a pouring activity, first the child is just learning to transfer either a solid or a liquid from one container into another, refining his motion so he can do that successfully. Here they get to practice first with large solids. Uh-oh. So if they spill, make a little pop. They just need to get them picked up. It's not just even hand-eye coordination, it's also the training of the three most important fingers, the ones that will be used to hold a pencil later on. As they refine that skill, then they can pour water, and if it spills, clean it up with a sponge, again, being independent and doing it. So there's fine motor coordination, there's eye-hand coordination, there's completion of the activity, and there's refinement of movement, so they become more and more precise. Let's find a nice spot over there with the floor. A scrubbing activity requires setting things up in a logical order. It requires being able to carry a pitcher of water, pouring into different size Oops. containers, completing an activity that takes a long period of time. Stay in one place until you finish. Often parents will come and say, they just don't have any attention span. They can't pay attention for a long period of time. That's another thing that the practical life exercises are assisting with. As the child moves from one activity to the other, the, the activities grow in the period of time that it's necessary to focus and concentrate. So building concentration is one of the things that the child is learning to do. And we all know how important concentration is for the later, more academic activities that parents can understand the importance of. When, we, when we're speaking of the area of practical life, the way that the parent can best support their child is to make sure that there are activities in every room that relate directly to the practical things that are going on in the home that the child can be involved with. That in the kitchen that there's a stool or a step stool that's sturdy that the child can use to climb up to reach counter height so the child can participate in the practical like activities that happen in the kitchen. That the child has the opportunity to do things like setting the table, counting the number of forks and spoons and knives that might need to be placed out every day. Vacuuming, something that has to do with the practical living that goes on in the household. All of those kinds of things will help your child feel more vitally involved in the running of the family home and that gives them a feeling of self-esteem and self-worth. All of that is what we would call indirect preparation. So they are developing a variety of skills at the same time, along with just being able to care for themselves and gaining independence.